How much of this stepping down is due to the financials of the company? Well, uh, you know, part the performance and also just uh, holding the company together, not selling pieces that activist investors want sold. This is bringing eBay a step closer to the scrap heap. It kind of feels like eBay breakup part two, because if you remember, this is a very similar situation that eBay faced uh, about five years ago when activist investor Carl Icahn was pressuring then CEO Steve Donahoe to break up uh, eBay and PayPal. And now we've got further pressure, but uh, this time we don't even have um, a promising up and coming company you know, that's, that they want to spin off like they did with PayPal. It's more just to, just to break up what's left over. Yeah, what are the activists pushing for in terms of breaking up the company? How do they think they can unlock value? Well, there's been pressure to sell their uh, ticket marketplace StubHub and the, uh, the classifieds business is more, more like a local marketplace similar to like a, a Craigslist type thing or, or the startup offer up. So they want to you know, further break up the pieces and Wenick has been resistant to that, arguing that there could be these synergies. You know, for example, StubHub, they were thinking, well, we sell sports memorabilia and, and band memorabilia and if somebody's getting a concert ticket or a, a, a sporting event ticket on eBay, maybe they'll spill over and, and, and buy the t-shirt, but those synergies never really materialized. And uh, it's just been the same story for eBay since even the PayPal split. It's just that there, there hasn't been much growth. Uh, Amazon just leaving it further and further in the dust. What can interim CEO Scott Shankle do that the previous CEO was not able to do? I don't know. I mean, it's hard to find a better champion for eBay than, than Devin Wenig. He really believed in the company and was really enthusiastic and, and, tr and took efforts to try to, uh, uh, you know, rebrand it, kind of shed its image as being this online garage sale and, and reestablish it as a, as a place to go to buy new things. And none of it just really caught on. It just seemed like inertia has kind of set in. So right now it looks like Scott Schenkel is just kind of a placeholder until they find someone else. And that's going to be more telling. You know, when, when they find a new, when they pick a new CEO for the company, does it look like they, they're picking a financial architect to further break it up, which seems most likely, or are they looking for someone to try to re-energize uh, uh, eBay, which was Wenig's plan that, that just never really went anywhere. How did they compete with Amazon? Um, well, not not that gr greatly. I mean, they, they've tried to distinguish themselves more. Uh, Wenig would even joke at their eBay conferences, like, we're not the place to go if you want a roll of paper towels in an hour. You know, that Amazon's got the commodity play and trying to replenish people's homes and cupboards and things, and eBay being more the place for enthusiasts. Like, if you're a car buff, you'll go to eBay to find... Um, you know, a hard, a hard to find car part, or if you're into uh, video games and accessories that you might go there to find hard, you know, hard, difficult to find items. They tried to differentiate themselves that way. But in terms of delivery, you know, you could be ta talking days or even week or more to get things delivered sometimes. And th those things were difficult hurdles for people, to, shoppers to get over. You know, if you're used to getting things two days or less, and all of a sudden you go on eBay, find something you want, you like, and you got to get it in a, in a week, that's a long time.